Hi, welcome to Do Info. In this video, I am going to show you how to bypass Microsoft account requirement in installing Windows 11. I know Microsoft is making it harder and harder every day and they think the Microsoft account is a solution to everything. In this video, we are going to bypass that requirement. I'm going to show you how you can bypass or skip the Microsoft account requirement in installing the Windows 11. So let's jump on to the solutions. So the solution number one, when you are installing Windows 11, at the beginning, it will ask you to connect to the internet. At the bottom, you will see an option say, I don't have internet. Just click on that, I don't have internet connection that will bypass the Microsoft account requirement the later on. The first step is easy. Let's go on to the second step. In case previously you have connected to the internet and now no way to go back and undo that step and make sure you disconnect the internet before doing this step. So here you need to type no at thankyou.com at the email address, press enter or next and at the password just type any password just a random password I'm going to press one two three four five six seven eight in most cases if you have disconnected the internet it will bypass the internet connection it'll take you to the next step the solution number three is you need to press shift plus F10 both key together that will bring the command prompt on that screen on the command prompt you need to type o o b e backslash bypass n r o I will add this uh, command in the description as well and press enter. This will also take you to the next step and bypass the Microsoft account requirement. If the first, second, third, all three steps are not working, then the fourth and I am 100% sure this step gonna work for you. And this is few long commands in the step number four, you have to do the same thing, press shift plus F10, both together. That will bring up the administrator command prompt. So what we are going to do here, we are going to create a local admin account using the command prompt and that will bypass our Microsoft account requirement. So just type net.exe space user space the username. Uh, here I'm going to just type HP, which is uh, my the username would be. You can type any username. Then space forward slash add. Press enter. So the second command we need to add, actually we are going to add this user in admin group. So net.exe space local group space administrators space the username we have added before which was hp and forward slash add. The command completed successfully. Since we got this added, now you need to type cd space oobe. We are inside the oobe directory. Now you need to type msoobe. This is the last command, by the way. Dot exe space and and space shutdown dot exe space minus r 
so what this command will do as soon you will press enter your computer will restart automatically it shut down and restart and uh, once it will come back it will take you to the login screen automatically so let's press enter here you can see our computer has been restarted and it says the username and password is incorrect just ignore this one go to the bottom left corner you will see the new user has been created with the hp name just click on hp and uh, it will take you to the desktop in this solution you need to make your bootable flash drive of windows 11 using rufus application it has to be rufus 4.3 or above version i have 4.7 so in the rufus when you select a iso file and hit start it will give you the options here the first option is the remove the requirements for 4 gig ram secure boot and tpm 2.0 so if your laptop is older using tpm 1.2 you can check mark this one and the second one remove the requirement for an online microsoft account you can check mark here and also check mark the third option as well create a local account with the username and you can re-edit the username whatever the local account you want to create just type the name here and press ok during the process of making the bootable flash drive it will bypass all the steps so once you install the windows 11 it won't show you all the microsoft login screen it will take you directly to desktop and you will see a new account local admin account with this name has been created already over there so that was the our fifth and the final solution i hope this video you find this video helpful if this one is working for you please comment down below if it's not working for you please also comment and explain your problem over there and i would try to resolve that issue for you i will catch you up in the next video until then bye bye